Well, there are two gases that are easily confused with one another, carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. You'll usually see some people say CO for carbon monoxide or CO2 for carbon dioxide and use those uh, acronyms and abbreviations interchangeably, where in reality, they're two completely different gases. Carbon dioxide is found naturally in the environment. We expel carbon dioxide. It's not uncommon for you to have uh, levels of carbon dioxide in your home or business that are completely acceptable. Compare that to carbon monoxide. Uh, surely if you're working in certain industrial settings, uh, you do not want to be exposed to carbon monoxide at all. The carbon monoxide, again, is not naturally found. It's generated by those uh, fuel burning appliances. You think about your furnaces, um, your ovens, things like that, that if they're not working correctly, they produce carbon monoxide. Compare that to carbon dioxide. Again, it's naturally found, but it's used more in a commercial setting. Carbon dioxide is used, uh, you'll find it frequently in most of your, your restaurants, whether it's fast food or whether it's uh, a sit-down establishment. Anybody that has a beverage dispenser, uh, think of your soft drinks. They have carbon dioxide in their building and that is where it's commonly found. Carbon monoxide poisoning and carbon dioxide poisoning are very similar in the sense of what symptoms you as a person would encounter. Uh, those symptoms may include nausea, dizziness, uh, confusion, tingling in your extremities. Uh, the fire department recommends carbon monoxide detectors in every home. In a residential setting, carbon dioxide detection systems are not required. If you have questions, reference carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, or the differences between the both, please feel free to reach out to us at the fire department.